Welcome, I'm Jason with Cerakote. In today's video, we will demonstrate the process to perform a flow rate test on your Cerakote robot. The reason for this is to measure the fluid flow through the robotic spray guns in order to track the wear of the needle and nozzles, verify flow prior to running a job, and how to compensate for dissimilar flow. Lastly, this can also be used as a diagnostic tool when experiencing difficulties with uneven coverage. The supplies required for this project will be some safety equipment. This includes safety glasses and a respirator. The equipment required for this project will be a scale that measures in grams and approximately two quarts of acetone. The first steps will be to power up and enable the purge on your Cerakote robot. Next, bolt on the spray guns and install the fluid nozzles. Navigate to the Spray Gun 1 Flow Rate Test Program and press Select. Remove the pressure pot lid and insert a clean liner. Pour approximately two quarts of clean acetone into the pot liner. Reinstall the lid and tighten the clamps. Pressurize the system and verify 5 psi of pot pressure is in the pot. After establishing pressure, turn on the fluid valve. Adjust both spray guns to 100 millimeters. Open the maintenance menu and start a purge 30. This will flow acetone up to the spray guns and bleed any air from the system. Following completion of the purge, remove the bucket and zero the weight on a scale. Make sure the units are in grams. Begin the Spray Gun 1 Flow Rate Test Program. Upon completion, remove the bucket and record the weight. Perform two more tests to acquire flow rate data from the spray gun. Average the three values to generate your final flow number. In our case, we have about 66 grams for spray gun one. Next, carry over the pot to the spray gun two flow rate test program. Begin the same series of tests on spray gun two and calculate your flow average.
In our case, we have 66 grams once again. So following our test, we did have a match on our needle nozzles. That is not always the case. In fact, most of the time you will have to make small adjustments to the precision adjustment knob either up or down. You can retest until you find that compensation that acquires a match. This is helpful for the future when you're running coating as you can compensate in a similar manner to maintain flow. If the pot pressure of your target program differs from the standard of 5 PSI, you will have to increase it to match on the flow rate test program. Find the target program that you intend to run. Navigate to display setup info and under notes you'll find the target flow rate. Next. Find the information for the fluid needle and pot pressure. This will need to be input on the flow rate test program when you intend to run this with coating. Adjust both values to match, and don't forget to adjust the spray guns accordingly. All right, that wraps up today's video on flow rate testing. Thanks for watching.